All right. Hi there. Hey, how are you? I'm doing great. I've been walking by and seeing crowds here all day looking at chocolate 3D printed stuff. Yeah. So tell me, who are you and what is this we're looking at? So I'm Ellie. I'm the founder of Cocoa Press um, 3D Print Chocolate. And we are looking at uh, two of our printers and a bunch of our printed chocolate samples here. Um, yep, we have our big printer. This is the one that we were previously selling. And then we have a very early prototype of a smaller version of Cocoa Press Mini for now that is based on a one uh, zero point one kit. Very cool. Okay, so I have lots of questions about okay. this. I've been right. following you on Twitter for a while, looking at the Cocoa Press, yeah. you know, kind of evolving. Um, so first off, it's it's a printer that prints chocolate, right? Yes. Just just to be completely clear. So, like. That has to be difficult to put out a product that has to do with food in this exactly. space. Like, do you have to do anything special to be able to even sell a thing that does food in the 3D printing space? So, we are basically, for the consumer level, we don't have to. Um, for some commercial pensions, you need an additional food safety certification. But in the size companies that we're selling to, they don't require that at the moment. But we are designing to that level. Yeah. For that commercial so you don't need like a commercial certification, but you're designing to the level of that. But you do take design considerations to make sure it's food exactly. safe, right? So, so like the what? Like what? That the chocolate ever touches is this red plunger. We have the cartridge um, body and nozzle here, and then it touches the silicone baking mat, and all of those can be removed without the screws and washed in the sink. So it's completely safe. Washes is super easy to clean. Um, and that's everything that the chocolate touches in the machine. Very cool. Yeah. So, is this just like regular chocolate? I see these bars here. What is it? Is how do you have three D printable chocolate that's not yeah. just like melting on the table here? Okay. So two two things. On the big printer, what we have is you can use any type of chocolate. It's a fully enclosed, refrigerated space. Uh, so it's a very controlled environment. And then we have a dual heating system that heats it really precisely. Um, what we were able to do though, is so that, that can use most chocolates, Belgian chocolates, whatever you want. What we were able to do though is downsize the whole thing for this new printer so that we're printing, it is 79 degrees right yeah, here. Yeah, it's pretty warm. And, and our chocolate is solidifying still. So we've been able to make this new type of chocolate that is amazing for 3D printing, solidifies at room temperatures, or I would argue 79 is above room temperature. Yeah. And um, that's how we're kind of downsizing this to something that we might eventually release that might be, you know, half or a quarter of the cost. Okay, um, so, so with that in mind, uh, you you mentioned this is the printer you did sell. Yeah. Are, is this still a thing that's for sale? Uh, not right now. We are making more of them, uh, and we sold through our stock. So <laughs> you sold them all. We okay. Sold them all. So you know we would consider it if it, making another batch of them. If someone came to if us. It made but sense. Yeah. We're not making more to keep in stock. So, so then you're moving. You're developing this thing. Yep. Is this something that is available, or do you anticipate it being available like in let's say the next year? In about a year is probably the earliest it would be. Probably it's, realistic. It's a pretty early prototype right now. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty well. Um, but it's all made possible because of our material science and chocolate, which is really cool. And um, yeah, we actually have 200 pounds of this new chocolate being delivered next uh, Thursday. That's cool. Yeah, That's cool. Yeah. I've been watching it print. Uh, you know, I've seen a few people tinker with chocolate printing at different maker fairs and stuff, oh, yeah. and usually the quality of the print is not so great, but these are fantastic. Uh, this one, unfortunately, it suffered a little bit of a bash earlier, so it's a little bit lopsided, but I saw it in the in the machine, and it, like, that's just incredible. Look at that. Look at those layers. That's yeah, fantastic. It's, uh, it's seven versions of chocolate printing. This is the sixth uh, version I've made. This is the seventh, and... Uh, very precise temperature control and extrusions to be able to, to print the food and uh, make it look good. Okay, so yeah. if somebody is at home, they're seeing this, they're excited, they want to get involved or they want to follow along to find out when this is done being developed, where do they learn more? Okay, so the two places are cocopress.com. Uh -huh. Sign up for our email list. I send emails like once every six months, so I promise I won't spam you. Uh, or just follow us on social media, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or 
uh, Facebook at Coco Press and TikTok at Coco underscore Press. And, uh, yeah, it posts a lot on there about, about updates. That is cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. This is very cool. All right. The interview you just saw took place at Midwest Rep Rap Festival in Goshen, Indiana. Going on back there. Uh, be sure to check at our members area at make.co. There's actually a full tour of the event uploaded there. If it's not there yet, it'll be there soon. Uh, until next time, you know, 